Hi everyone. In this video we are going to explore another alternative weapon configuration for the King Crab Mech. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right away. So in this case I used this uh, KGC-000B variant which is um, the uh, variant uh, originally built for the Star League Royal Defense Force. So this is the loadout. Originally uh, this uh, particular variant comes with LRM-15 uh, plus Artemis control and um, for that matter I actually decided to keep it this way. I didn't change it for the LRM-20 as in my previous video for other configuration. Uh, the only thing that I've done here, obviously, I've upgraded it to the uh, to, to the five tier level weapon. Now, what's the difference between the standard LRM-15 and the uh, Artemis control uh, variant? Is that the, uh, the this one is um, one ton heavier? However, it's a lot more precise when you actually get a direct view of the target. And it's true, you can actually, when you see the target and when you shoot it with the Artemis control LRMs, you can actually see how every single missile hits the target. In theory, supposedly, uh, it doesn't make any difference from the standard LRM when you shoot a target which is behind a, some kind of obstacle, like behind the hill or behind the building. This is something that I've learned on Sarna.net, however, I'm not sure whether it's true or not for this game. So if you know the answer to this question, please let me know down in the comments, because I'm very curious to know whether it's actually true for this game or not. Okay, as far as the um, uh, ammo is concerned, I have th uh, three tons of uh, LRM um, Artemis ammo in here, as you can see, meaning that you can actually shoot this, um, this weapon 88 time, uh, times. Then, as you can see, I've... Um, I've changed uh, the original large laser for this um, ER PPC, the extended range PPC, and as the name suggests, this is um, th this uh, PPC has a much uh, greater range than the standard PPC and a much uh, greater uh, muzzle velocity than the standard PPC at the expense of the excess heat. It's actually uh, a very, very hot weapon, as you can see, it's like 9.3 points of heat. Very, very hot weapon. That is exactly why I have so many heat sinks. And lastly, as you can see, I've downgraded or perhaps maybe upgraded, depending on how you look at it, the original AC-20s for this dual heavy rifles. I've talked a lot about this weapon in one of my previous videos, where I've built the Annihilator with four of these weapons. Uh, if you're interested, please uh, check out that video. But, you know, um, in short, what is a heavy rifle? Well, the heavy rifle is an ancient low-tech weapon predating the modern standard auto cannons and predating even the Star League. It's very, very old. They are not being produced uh, in the inner sphere. They are being produced these days only in the periphery illegally. That is why you can never find them in the industrial hubs. They are only available for purchase sometimes on the black market in conflict zones. So they are kinda rare for that matter. 
Okay, uh, now, uh, why did I change uh, the original AC20s? Well, for a few reasons. When you take a look at uh, the damage level, as I've mentioned it uh, many times in my previous videos, you see it generates 23.4 points of damage as compared to the AC20 which generates 26 points of damage so in terms of damage potential this is actually very very close to the ac20 it's not far behind only you know a few points behind the ac20 but the beautiful thing is that it weighs only eight tons which is comparable to the ac5 you see ac5 also weights 8 tons and thus you get for the weight of the AC5 you get uh, almost as much of damage potential as the AC20 so th those are the great things ah and besides that it also got a much much greater range than the AC20 in my previous videos I've shown how you can actually shoot with this weapon far beyond the sensor range, uh, much farther than the one kilometer. The, uh, the indicated range in the specs, uh, which um, you know shows uh, 825 meters, it's wrong, it's not, it's much much uh, farther than that. You can shoot it um, you know, judging from my previous videos, I've shot some targets which were like 1.5 kilometers away. So uh, it's a great sniper weapon. Now the downsides of this obviously is that uh, it's got a horrible, horrible firing rate. It takes forever to reload this weapon. As you can see, it's 8 RPM, which is the lowest firing rate of all weapons in this entire game. This is something to keep in mind. Besides that, the other negative is that it's a very, very hot weapon. As you can see, it generates 7.75 points of heat. You know, this is actually hotter than, than the standard PPC. You see, the standard PPC generates only 6.2 points of heat. So this is even hotter than the PPC. That is exactly why I have six double heat sinks in here. To be able to manage that uh, tremendous amount of heat which is generated by these two heavy rifles together with this ER PPC which is very hot and then this uh, LRM-15 is also somewhat hot you know 3 points 375 points of heat so it's a fairly hot build however what I really really like about this build is its uh, incredible uh, long range ability it's got an excellent long range uh, ability it can shoot tar targets very very far with these two heavy rifles and this ER PPC. Now, uh, ah, perhaps the other negative of these heavy rifles is that one ton, um, you know, has only 12 rounds, but it's not really an issue here because I have the eight tons of heavy rifle ammo. Uh, which uh, adds up to 96 rounds in total for uh, for a single he heavy rifle which is actually very nice it's a, it is plenty to complete any kind of mission so it's not really an issue here now unlike the build which i've shown you in my previous uh, video with the dual ac5 burst fire this particular build actually actually gets close very close to the original design idea behind the king crab chassis which is to either seriously cripple or destroy another mech in one salvo this is something that you can actually 
do with this uh, particular configuration you know if you are a very sharp shooter you can totally destroy either a light or a medium mech in one salvo with this build it's a pretty powerful build with an excellent excellent uh, long range ability and this is one of my favorite builds actually i mean king crab builds so let's go ahead and see how it performs in combat Ah, actually, almost forgot. Let's take a look at the upgrades. Now, since this uh, KGC-000B variant is the variant which was built for the Star League Royal Defense Force, as compared to the uh, st st standard 000 variant, it actually has 8 upgrade slots as opposed to the other variant which has only six upgrade slots so as you can see here i'm just uh, reinforcing the structure reinforcing the armor uh, by uh, b by a few percents and then everything else goes here towards the increase of firing rate faster weapon cycling uh, plus the condensed cycle time uh, for that PPC and then both quick ammo feeds you know just to increase the firing rate of those heavy rifles incredibly slow firing rate so as you can see it increased it from 8 rpm to 10.32 rpms not a lot but still better than nothing then you know some marginal increase for the ppc and then just you know a little bit of increase for the lrm as well so these are the upgrades and then as far as the weapon groups go these are pretty much uh, the same uh, weapon groups as um, you know with uh, with the standard king crab build nothing really fancy here but it's pretty simple all right so let's go ahead and see how it performs in combat now in my previous mission and previous video alike if you haven't watched it i've started a multiple mission contract consisting of four uh, different mission types and this is going to be the second mission of that multiple mission contract which is the assassination contract uh, we will have to destroy some assigned mech targets in here the battle area is fairly large uh, so suggesting that we might get some opportunity to shoot um, some targets at a long range you know 27.5 square kilometers However, the problem is that it's happening in this uh, jungle swamp biome, meaning that there will most likely be a lot of trees, so we may not necessarily get an opportunity to work at longer ranges because we will have just, you know, too many trees and maybe some other obstacles as well, so we'll see how it will work out but you know we can also work at close range as well it's not like we cannot do anything at a close range with that configuration all right so let's go ahead and confirm this we'll keep exactly the same lance mates in here which are you know this female AI lance mates and as far as the max goes i am going to take four of those identical builds those heavy rifle builds typically typically i don't like assigning anything that has heavy rifles to my lance mates because i don't particularly like the way they use them in a way that they don't shoot anything beyond sensor range so they don't uh, get a full advantage of these weapons but 
this time around i will just you know take uh, take it anyways so we'll have four identically built king crabs in this mission let's go There's a good chance our targets have split up in order to evade us. The more okay, locations on the see map what's going on are the most here. likely areas where we'll find them. Be careful, as they have many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. So we have three waypoints in here. Which one should we check out first? Let's uh, let's see whatever the closest one is. Which may be uh, this one. Uh, kind of, you know, somewhat similar distance from here. Target Some turret. Target destroyed. Yeah, we may not necessarily get much opportunity here to work at longer ranges because you see what's going on. It's a jungle, and we have lots of trees on our way. So that kind of tactic may not necessarily work in here, but we can still work at, at a close range. Okay, what would be the best route? Lots of mountains, lots of trees. Which way should I go to? Target acquired. Another turret. Well, I guess maybe let's check out this one first. Okay, some helicopter. Kill confirmed. Ah. Okay, nice shot. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving into New investigation. Target, mech. Another helicopter. Yeah, this is what the ERPPC does. You can shoot targets as far as 3 kilometers away. It's actually... Hold on a second. Let's stay around here. Let's just, you know, clear this area a little bit. Have lots of things Wrecked. going on here. Target acquired. see him very well oh, what else is out here some small Target targets turret 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 yeah lots of turrets okay let's go check out this location first lots of trees lots of mountains yeah we won't be able to work longer ranges in here unfortunately target some other turret target destroyed new target uh -huh. something uh, something is there target acquired actually several mechs are there Let's 
clean up this area. Oh, this, this is kind of hard. Target acquired. There's something nearby. Whatever. I'm not gonna bother. Okay. How do we approach those targets? Let's see. No, this is a very tough Need terrain target. in Locus. here, actually. Launch target engaged. Let's get rid of this small stuff. Target destroyed. Target nice acquired. job. New target, spider. Copy. More on it, sir. I hate when they cross my line of fire. Yeah, I can't. I can't shoot because I can, you know, hit my lance mates. Here, all right. So we have got some of those mechs. Is everything safe out here? Otherwise, let's see. Let's get their attention first. Let's see if they start walking towards us. Okay, he's got hit. Looks like. We've been noticed. So many trees, so many trees. Is there any way to... Primary target identified. Ah, okay, they are coming to us. They are coming to us, okay. That's fine, let's, let's stay here. Stop crossing my line of fire. Oh my gosh. Do I hate that? Do I hate this? This is the most annoying thing about this Enemy game. Incoming. Okay. Destroy that mech. Okay, one is gone and then we have an Atlas. Angry Atlas. All guns on shared target. Okay. Is is he going critical? No. Okay. Not really. So we have the enemy dropship coming in. Got your focusing target. They will work on this Victor. Enemy reactor is about to blow. Nice okay. kill, Commander. He's gone. New target, Archer. Can, can we get able to do this Archer? Or with LRMs? That mech is scrap. Falling in file formation, sir. And then we have another Orion. Deal with him myself without my lance mates. Move order complete. We're moving. As a matter of fact, I can probably, you know, just get rid of him I've arrived. with this LRMs. Move He's, order complete. He seems to be afraid to come out and they have plenty of ammo he's done we'll go we're moving to you now target acquired Okay, 
Okay, where do we go next? Here. Target acquired. New target, Highlander. Let's get noticed. Where are you going? Where are you going? I did not order you to go over there. Stay here. Navigating. Stay around here. Or better here. I did not order you to walk in front of me. What's, what's, what's going on? Target acquired. Arrived at requested, Commander. Is it is it underwater? <laughs> Look at that, the ground vehicle underwater. Wow, what a bug. What a bug. So there is this one. It's not our assigned target, but let's uh, let's get rid of him anyway. So the one doesn't distract us. Uh, let's get rid of this vehicles. Target destroyed. What's that? The, the turret? Yeah, let's uh, it's okay. Another tank. What's that? I, I just wanna clean up this area a little bit so I could focus more on the actual mech. What else is out here? What is this tank? Why is he jumping? Taking too much damage. This blackjack is so annoying. Alright. Took more armor damage than I should have. Moving into file formation, Commander. But I was dealing with those mechs by myself because this AI landsmates sometimes just annoy the heck out of me by crossing my line of fire. Destroy Tango down. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Like I said, I have plenty of uh, LRM ammo. Don't really need to worry about running out of it, especially on this mission. Target 
acquired. Hit him, but he's not down. Oh my gosh, do I hate when they are walking in front of me? Hey, what's your intonation? Made it to your requested location, sir. Alright, let's attack focus. him. Positive visual on the target, Commander. I've marked it on your attack screen. They're not getting up from that. I'm getting zero reactor signature from the targets. Looks like we've got them all. This is it. Target. We've fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. What are we doing here? We are we are done. We are done. We need to go back to our drop ship. I thought there was something else, but no. This is it. This is it. have is just an armor damage so far nothing really serious so it's gonna be a quick repair and my landsmiths are in a pretty good shape Let's pick up some PPC, always nice to have, AC20 I guess, then I have two points left, anything else, uh, this actually are good, uh, actually I think I have, it's okay I'll buy them, these are kinda rare, just to have them. Okay, six mech kills. Well, I mean, obviously this is not a battlefield mission. It's just, you know, assassination contract. We just needed to destroy specific uh, assigned targets. Uh, six mech kills in here. Uh, whatever, whatever. Let's see what are the, the damages. Weather very much like I said, we haven't lost any components so it's gonna be you know just a quick armor repair okay 
so what do I think of this um, particular build? Well, very much like I said earlier, I really, really like it. I like uh, its long range, I like its firepower, and I like the fact that you you get a very very good amount of ammo with this build which is uh, plenty for any kind of mission out there it's it, this one is perhaps one of my favorite king crab configurations the downside of course as you can see um, the low firing rate of those heavy rifles but it's uh, again it's definitely an interesting alternative as a matter of fact i feel like uh, this particular mission um, was kind of strange and uh, perhaps we didn't really get much uh, of an opportunity to explore what this particular build is capable of so maybe one of these days i will just make another video on about this configuration and maybe we'll try it in a different kind of scenario well these are my thoughts but please let me know what are your thoughts on this build and what do you think of this build is it any good is it any bad is it, is it something that you will consider using I'm kind of curious uh, to know your opinion about this. Okay, well, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.